Today we're taking a look at the Raspberry Pi. Only this time, it's not alone. We're unboxing the Raspberry Pi 5 desktop kit. All the essentials in one kit. How is it different and who is it for? Let's find out. Let's take a look at the box. Although I did order an eight gigabyte model, it's not marked on the box. The contents of the box are shown on the bottom, but we'll open our apps to see what's inside. The first thing that drops out is an empty Raspberry Pi 5 box. That could be concerning. Where is my Raspberry Pi 5? Don't worry, it's been installed in the case for your convenience. Inside the box you'll find some more boxes. The new 27 watt power supply. In the middle, the box marked Raspberry Pi case. Let's hope the Pi is in there. And we have the official Raspberry Pi mouse, a micro SD card preloaded with Raspberry Pi OS, and it includes the SD card adapter should you need to flash it on your PC. Underneath, the official Raspberry Pi keyboard and hub. Our two micro HDMI to HDMI cables, and the official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. I love this. If you're new to computing or an educational user, you don't open the box and stare at the device not knowing what to do next. It comes with a very high quality manual to hold your hand in exploring the new world of Raspberry Pi. We also have this quick start card and some safety information. Now let's start by opening the case. And yes, inside is the Raspberry Pi 5. Opens up easily. There you see the Raspberry Pi 5 and the case's cooling fan. The power supply, of course. Now, the keyboard. Being a hub is important. It means that you can plug the mouse or any other USB device straight into the keyboard without having to reach for the computer. This happens to be the US keyboard layout, so you won't find a British pound sterling symbol anywhere on it. And here's the keyboard, neatly matching the Raspberry Pi case. Even an appropriately colored cable. We don't need to use the blue USB ports because keyboards and mice don't need that high speed. The connector to the keyboard is currently a micro USB, but that's sure to change on future models. Now for the mouse. We'll plug the mouse into the hub here. And time to put the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. It's a 32 gigabyte card, which suffices for Raspberry Pi OS. Now we're ready to power up, but we don't have a display connected. Sure, I could connect it directly into the TV in front of me, but I'm using that for something else. Actually, the fact that you can plug it into your TV is pretty cool. That's the way it was in the 80s during the microcomputer explosion. All the popular home computers then could plug straight into a TV, which meant you didn't have to lay out on a monitor. Then in the 90s and 2000s, as computers kept upgrading their display capabilities and TVs stayed the same, there was an incompatible period where it wasn't practical or really even desirable to have your computer connected to your old TV. But eventually things converged, and nowadays computers have HDMI outputs and your living room TV has an HDMI input. So just adding this Raspberry Pi desktop kit gives your child everything he or she needs to start programming this computer in your living room. Now, Raspberry Pi is planning on releasing an official monitor later this year, which will again neatly match the aesthetics you see here. But for now, I'll have to make another plan. I have something similar here, a flat panel USB powered HDMI monitor. 
it has a little stand uh, two challenges here okay the, the, the first one is easy it needs power any USB-C output will work straight from the Raspberry Pi here or you could just use a phone charger the second challenge is a little more difficult uh, this monitor has a mini HDMI input these cables are micro HDMI to full size HDMI I'm going to have to find an adapter and I found one this solution is a little bulky it would be best to get a third party dedicated micro HDMI to mini HDMI but this will have to do for now and I'm finally ready to plug the power in wish me luck Okay, the green light is flashing, which means power and flash drive access. Very nice, it works straight out of the box. Look, it doesn't take one second to go from turned off to ready to use like my first computer did, but it's pretty painless to get going nonetheless. After a few setup questions such as your country and language, and asking you to create a login username and password, then your Wi-Fi network credentials and you're connected. It will first check for updates, ask you to reboot if it installs any. While that's happening, there's time for a bit of coffee. Et voila, we have our computer ready to use. And again, no need to stare at it and shrug. This getting started guide is awesome. Very high quality and just what you need to get started for the first time. You can dive right in. For now, we can open the Chromium web browser and... Big surprise! Raspberry Pi is the default home page. And there you have it, your complete computer system in a box. Powerful enough to solve real-world problems in home and industry, but in this package, friendly enough to hand to a 10-year-old child and see the twinkle in their eyes when they think of something they could make it do. That's the Raspberry Pi 5 desktop kit. Let us know what you think of it in the comments.